Good morning children. Today we are here to learn about deficiency diseases. But before I start with the deficiency diseases, I would like all of you to know what a balanced diet is. Here I have a plate of food items which I am going to show you one by one. For example, capsicum, I have carrot, I have beans, then I have some fruits here which are guava, pear, pomegranate and apple. Now these fruits and vegetables are very rich sources of vitamins and minerals. I have dal here which is a good source of protein and another good source of protein is the egg. Then we have rice and chapati which is wheat. Rice and chapati are good sources of carbohydrate. Milk and curd. Now children, milk is said to have all sorts of nutrients in it. That is the most of, most of the nutrients in it and that is why milk is also known as a complete food. Now all these food items make a balanced diet. So a balanced diet is a diet which has all the nutrients in the right amount needed for our body to function properly. Now I will show you a chart a food, of a food pyramid which will show you all different groups of food. This food pyramid shows different groups of food. The first is fruits and then there is vegetables like pumpkin, brinjal, sweet potato, cucumber and turnip. Now fruits and vegetables as I have shown you are very good sources of vitamins and minerals. Then we have nuts. Nuts are rich sources of protein. Then we have meats. Now meats can be in the form of fish, it can be in the form of chicken, ham or prawns. The meats are rich, again rich sources of protein. The healthy fats comes from butter, ghee and milk. So this food pyramid shows us the different groups and their richness in different nutrients. Any deficiency of these nutrients causes deficiency diseases. And now we will come to the deficiency diseases with their symptoms and their prevention. Here are some diseases which are caused by deficiency of different vitamins. The first one is vitamin A which causes night blindness. Now here the symptoms of night blindness are the person cannot see at night properly. The skin of the person becomes very dry and the person has dull eyes. This can be prevented by including green leafy vegetables, papaya, carrot, milk, curd, yellow pumpkin and animal liver. Next is vitamin B. The deficiency of the vitamin B causes stomach and intestine disorder. Now the signs and symptoms of this disease are red raw tongue and pain and numbness in the limbs. To prevent this disease you can include sprouted pulses, green leafy vegetables, grains, gram, milk and liver. The third disease which is caused by the deficiency of vitamin C is scurvy. Now the symptoms and signs of scurvy are swelling of gums, loose teeth, sometimes people also see bleeding of gums. This scurvy can be prevented again by including some good sources of vitamin C in the diet which you can obtain from amla, lemon, orange, sprouts, green coriander and mint leaves. Children, 
Vitamin D deficiency causes rickets. In rickets, the symptoms are bulging of backbone, bowed legs and weak bones. This also can be prevented by including milk, cheese, fish and exposure to sunlight is very important for you all to understand children because most of us avoid going out in the sun. But do you know this has lot of vitamin D. Don't ever think that there is vitamin D in the sunlight. But the sunlight and the cholesterol in our body together forms vitamin D. So to sum it up children, we see what we have learned today is the balanced diet, the food pyramid that includes all the groups of food and also different types of deficiency diseases caused by lack of vitamins, their symptoms and the sources of food which we include in the diet to prevent these diseases. Thank you.